Welcome to Pennington Publishing's eComment Scrum Extension. This tutorial will help you get the most out of your eComments program. In this video, you'll see how this program works to save you time grading or editing stories, essays, and reports, while improving the quality of your writing feedback. In just a few minutes, you'll learn how to insert over 200 customizable comments from each of the four different comment levels into Google Docs and Slides with just one click from the pop-up eComments menu. Each comment identifies, explains, and shows how to revise a specific writing issue. The grades 3 through 6, 6 through 9, 9 through 12, and College and Workplace comment sets cover the whole spectrum of writing instruction and are aligned to the Common Core Anchor Standards for Writing and Language. In this video, you'll also see how easy it is to add and save your own formatted comments to the eComments menu. Perfect to customize your comment inserts with specific writing assignments. Plus, you'll find out how to record audio, video, and speech-to-text comments to make the job of personalized feedback easier and more effective. And most importantly, you don't have to be a tech genius to use this program. It's intuitive and user-friendly. Let's get started. After adding the Chrome extension, click the eComments icon in your extension toolbar and switch the slider to the on position. The extension remains available to use with any Google Doc or slide until you switch to the off position. The eComment extension automatically saves comments to the cloud and syncs data among multiple devices. Let's check out the useful links in the drop-down menu. The one-page quick start user guide and video tutorial will remind you how to use each feature of the eComments program. The four separate comment sets will come in handy. You never know when you'll need to copy and paste a remedial or advanced comment to the extension level you've selected. Also, troubleshooting and support are at your fingertips if you need help. Now let's open a doc shared by one of your writers. Notice that the eComments menu pops up in the right margin. You can scroll up and down, drag from any comment category to reposition the menu on the screen, grab the small triangle at the bottom right of the menu to minimize, or click the Auto Hide button at the top of the menu. Plenty of options to fit your device, screen size, and personal preference. eComments menu provides hundreds of customizable canned comments, written in four comment sets, grades 3 through 6, 6 through 9, 9 through 12, and College Workplace. Plus, add your own custom comment sets for different assignments and classes. To insert a comment, click or highlight a section of the writer's text, scan the writing comment categories to narrow your search, and hover over the abbreviated comment buttons. You'll notice that the menu darkens and the full text of the comments appear in a pop-up. Simply click the button which responds to the writing issue and the entire comment appears in the margin of the writer's document. So easy. Don't worry, it's saved. Your writers can ask a question in the reply box and you can respond for effective interactive instruction. Want to edit the comment just for that writer? Click on the three dot button on the right side of the comment to edit, delete, or link to this comment. You'll notice that many of the e-comments are quite comprehensive and you may wish to narrow the instructional focus for individual writers. Let's delete a section of this comment and save our edit to pinpoint instruction for this one writer. Want to customize the comment for all your writers? Right click on the comment button to edit and save to the eComments menu. Notice the edit functions, bold face, italics, underline, strike through, bullet points, the X which serves as a marker to insert personalized text, and speech to text. Change your mind and want to restore the default comment? No problem. Right-click on the comment and select Restore. Note that you can also change all comments in that category back to their defaults by right-clicking on the Writing Comment category and selecting Restore Default Comments. Or export those comments to your computer for future use if you wish to do so. Want to add your own writing comments to the eComments menu? It's easy to do. Click the plus button in the writing comment category that fits and type in a comment abbreviation to create your own comment button. 
To enter the comment, you can type, copy and paste, or use the speech-to-text function. Yes, you can add links for additional practice. Don't forget to save. Want to insert an audio or video comment? Make sure your mic or camera is on before recording. Click on the microphone or video icon next to the plus button and select Start Recording. When finished, click Stop Recording and you can listen to or watch the playback. A pop-up window provides the record and playback functions. Select Save to Dock or Slide for just that writer, or select Save to eComments menu to be able to use for all your writers. Want to add a new writing comment category to the eComments menu for a specific writing assignment? Click the Add Category button at the bottom of the eComments menu. Type the name of the category and click Add. Add as many of your own comments as you wish to the new writing comments category. To remove the category, right-click on the Writing Comments category and select the Trash icon, or select Export to save the comments to your computer. You can also save all changes in all categories by clicking Export All at the bottom of the eComments menu. Of course, you can put them back in anytime by clicking the Import button. Let's finish this tutorial with a few writing feedback tips. First, make sure that your writers understand your expectations. Writing is a process, and most assignments will require multiple drafts. Each draft shared with you should be a writer's best effort, not a sloppy copy for you to fix. Writers must use the spelling and grammar check prior to submitting all drafts. Google does a good job finding typos and simple errors. Your job is to provide the writing feedback that Google cannot do. Second. Tell your writers that you're not inserting comments for every writing issue. To show multiple occurrences of the same writing issue, comment on the first and use the highlight function to simply mark repeated issues. Don't overwhelm your writers with too many comments. A few will do. Third, I do suggest providing a balance of writing feedback for multiple writing comment categories. One way to achieve this end is to restrict comment insertions to a few writing comment categories per writing feedback session. Depending upon time restrictions and the nature of the writing assignment, writing feedback may be limited to once following the rough draft or twice if also commenting on the revised rough draft. Note that some of the comments, especially the end comments, would be especially beneficial for final draft writing feedback. Another way to balance writing feedback is to restrict comment insertions for each writing assignment. For example, one writing assignment may lend itself to reading for writing content and structure. Another may be beneficial to focus on sentence structure, sentence variety, and word choice. And yet another may be ideal for grammar, punctuation, and spelling. Fourth, well, here's the best reason to add the eComments Chrome extension. It works in and out of Google Classroom. Unfortunately, Google Classroom does not permit students to see any of your comments in their views of Google Classroom until after you enter the grades and return their assignments. The eComments program lets you comment on rough drafts, and students can see these comments and revise their work before turning it in for a grade. Here's how to grade student rough drafts. It only takes two extra clicks. With the student's assignment open in Google Classroom, click on the icon in the upper right corner following the student's name that says Open in New Window. You'll get the same student assignment without the Google Classroom grading tools. Click the eComments icon to activate the extension and insert your comments. Students are able to view the comments as you enter them. You may wish to click Share when you finish commenting to alert the student. Students read your comments and revise their writing accordingly. They can also use the Reply button to ask you questions about your comments, and you can reply back. As you already know, providing writing feedback is not helpful unless the writer reads and applies the comments. To ensure that they do so, 
I suggest requiring your writers to revise their drafts in red font. A quick review shows whether the writer's red font revisions connect to the inserted comments. Google Docs also provides a revision history to ensure nothing gets lost or accidentally or intentionally deleted. Of course, figure out a way to incentivize writing revisions. Revising writing is challenging work. Teachers should award points for revisions, and workplace supervisors have their own methods for giving well-deserved pats on the back. Fifth, make sure to use some of the positive comments at the end of the writing categories. According to writing feedback research, these specific comments are so much more effective than using general comments such as good effort, much improved, or great job. Also use the end comments category to focus on the writing assignment revisions as a whole. These final comments provide positive reinforcement along with fill-in text boxes to add constructive criticism about what to refine in the final edit and publication. And finally, when you are satisfied that the writer has made the necessary revisions and is ready to complete a final edit and draft, insert the Edit, Resolve, and Submit comment found in the End Comments writing category. The eComments program will help you save time while providing better writing feedback. Don't forget to click the eComments icon and download the one-page Quick Start User Guide to remind you how to use the features of this program. Thanks for watching.